Welcome back. It is time for the Hot Topic Buzz. New documents reveal a list of commonly used words online that the FBI has labeled extremism. This after a FOIA request. It's a Freedom of Information request from the Heritage Foundation. The phrase red pill made famous by the Matrix is a belief that society is corrupt and people are victims of that corruption. The word based, just based, according to the FBI, refers to someone, quote, who has been converted to racist ideology. And then there's this one, LARPing. It originally refers to groups doing live auction, uh, live action role playing. Now it's a way to, quote, deride individuals accused of not being as extreme. These are the words that the FBI has indicated are in the extremist category. Monica. Well, I just tweeted the word based last night, Maria, <laughs> when I was tweeting at the UFC uh, response to President Trump and Kid Rock and Mike Tyson all attending that huge event in Miami over the weekend. So I guess now I'm considered an extremist uh, by the FBI. Um, look, this is all part and parcel of what we have seen over the last several years of weaponizing government to attack the First Amendment. We just saw over the last couple of weeks the case of Douglas Mackey, who was convicted in a court of law for an anti-Hillary meme in the 2016 campaign. We also saw journalist Matt Taibbi, who's a classic liberal. He's not a conservative. And he had the IRS show up to his door on the very day that he was testifying to Congress about the Twitter files. So all of these actions not only are a violation of the First Amendment, totally unconstitutional, Maria, but they're also messaging events. They are shots across the bow to regular Americans who may dissent from what the Biden administration and big tech and and all of these progressives are doing to the country. It's a shot across the bow to all of us that, hey, you may not want to stick your head up too far above the, the um, level here because we are going to come for you and it is not going to be pleasant because we're going to come for you with the entire force of the U.S. government. Wow. That is terrifying, unconstitutional and illegal, but they're doing in any way. This is very disturbing, Mike. Yeah, Maria, um, the, the using of this language to label people extremists is nothing more than cover to allow them to surveil and harass people who are guilty of political wrongthink. They, they, this That's is, right. The FBI has become a political hit force for the left to go after their enemies. And so what you are seeing when these things come out are no different than going after uh, concerned parents showing up at a school board meeting. Right. And, you know, telling them that they are domestic terrorists. What they'll do is they'll use someone like the Southern Poverty Law Center to come in and say, label somebody with some, ba you know, normal conservative thought advocating for a smaller government or exposing corruption. Well, now this person is an extremist. Uh, we need to get ahead of them in case they commit some sort of violence so we can surveil them and then maybe jam them up on, you know, some sort of process crime. Um, you know, yeah. you, you saw that with the special counsel. Um, it, it's, it's kind of the M.O. And then you're now seeing it uh, reach the point of ridiculousness, as Monica just mentioned, in the case of Douglas Mackey. Um, who only who was making memes online and the Southern District of New York that prosecuted him could not point to a single person that um, <laughs> that 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 took that seriously or was a victim yeah. and and still this guy's looking at some serious jail time unless they went on appeal and even if they went on appeal uh, the process is still the punishment going through yeah. this for years of his life it's just a, it's these are designed to harass people and intimidate those that do yeah. not agree with them and do not get in line that's right I mean you're either you're either on the team or you're not on the team and if you're not on their team you could get prosecuted Monica there was a great op-ed from Mark Penn in the journal last week uh, about the race to the bottom and this kind of activity is driving the race to the bottom and he wrote in that op-ed that this is all a continuation of what started under the Obama and Clinton administrations in particular Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton where the Obama administration did, in fact, weaponize the agencies, going after the IR, using the IRS to go after political enemies, uh, using agencies to go after uh, what they didn't agree with, Eric Holder, uh, his, his attorney general, leading that effort. 
Yeah, you saw it across the board over the eight years during, during the Obama administration, Maria. Yeah. That is exactly right. They began to truly weaponize government. I mean, this has actually gone on longer than the Obama administration. This is basically a Marxist revolution. It's a soft revolution, but it's one nonetheless to undermine our country from within. And the best way to do that is to take control over all of our major institutions and corrupt them with the left. So certainly the Obama team accelerated that process. And then yeah. under four years of Trump, he tried to bring us back to our foundational principles here and get these institutions back on track. But the problem is, Maria, that they are so shot through with so much corruption, which runs so deep. And all of these players are so deeply entrenched, along with this ideology, that it is going to take, um, you know, another political leader, President Trump, wants to do it, uproot all of this root and branch and begin yeah. again, because I really don't think reform is in the cards. Well, I mean, I think, Mike, it's activity that you would expect from something like the Chinese Communist Party, which is also part of it, but you would not expect yeah. it from Democrats who are running these federal agencies. How disturbing that our most important federal agencies have been compromised, like the FBI and the DOJ, because of leadership in the White House. Uh, Maria, what we've seen over the last two years of the Biden administration is the shifting of domestic surveillance, anti-terrorism, moving from Islamic extremists and you know other factions that may cause harm to our country to basically your rank and file Trump supporters. It's it's the weaponization mm -hmm. of the Patriot Act and all these other tools uh, that right. the national security state has against its own citizens who simply don't agree with them on the way the country should move forward. You're right.